Hey, good day. What's up, family and friends? Welcome once again to Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. You're here with your one and only Smoke Pot. And today, once again, we're going to be um, cooking up some real delicious things for you guys. So today I'm going to be doing some ginormous shrimp. We're going to be doing some ginormous shrimp. As you can see, the size of these shrimps, extremely large. Well, we're gonna be doing some of them um, with Alfredo sauce. So it's basically a shrimp Alfredo. But you know, my son was saying to me, Dad, take it up a next notch. So what I decided to do, I have some grilled chicken breasts that I'm gonna include. So it's really a shrimp and chicken Alfredo. All right? So the first process in this is to deal with the pasta, all right? For today, we're going to be doing this pasta. It's called, you see what they call this one? Um, I think the name of this one is um, Rotelli. All right. The brand is Ranzini. But it's, um, this one is Rotelli. They're basically the same thing as you can see. They call it Rotini in this one, and this one they call it Rotelli. It's basically just the way they designed it. Yeah, guys. So as I was saying, this one, as you see, it's, it's Rotel, my bad. You know, I'm not really from the French country, so sometimes the pronunciation can be a little off. You know, you know that. So the first step, I have some water boiling. I added a little bit of salt. And now, we're just gonna be adding, adding our pasta. So I'm doing two pasta, as you can see. So I'm adding my pasta to that mix. I'm also gonna be adding a little, a little olive oil. Not too much. I would say that's like a table, a tablespoon of olive oil right here. All right. We're gonna give that bad boy a little stir. We're gonna give that bad boy a little stir. And we're gonna leave that to boil for about um, 10 minutes or so, all right? So let's get that out of the way. Now we go back to our nice gorgeous shrimp that we have right here. Um, it's gonna be lightly seasoned today, no extreme seasoning so i'm gonna add just a little bit of black pepper i'm gonna give this like just a little uh maybe a, a quarter te teaspoonful maybe there i have right here as you can see it's fish sauce it's the only thing i have with a little salt because as you know my alfredo plus my cheese that i'll be using also they have a little bit of salt so only thing with some salt is that fish seasoning and I just put about no, I think maybe a half um, teaspoon just the same garlic powder it's a little quarter teaspoon right here and I have some onion powder I'm gonna put an extra quarter teaspoon all right and so we do that now all I'm gonna do is season this nicely right you might see I use some different um, different from you normally do your pasta or your shrimp or chicken alfredo. You might see me giving it a little twist because by now you guys should know that that's how I do my thing. All right. So I'm not even going to hesitate. I'm going to turn the stove on. All right. I'm going to get this. I'm gonna add a little olive oil also here. Not too much. All right, because I'm gonna be sauteing up some of my beautiful season that I have right here. As you can see, I have a nice amount of onion. Onions for me is such a lovely seasoning. So I have the onions right here that I'll be working with. And then I have some red pepper, different colors just give it a, some beautification and I also have a little bit of time right there so as I'm saying most people don't even use ground seasoning when they're doing um, pasta but I do my thing a little different and as I said here I have as you can see it's a Monterey Jack white and um, orange regular yellow cheese finely shredded blend and here's our awesome mozzarella cheese so I'm gonna give that bad boy a little touch up of some um, cheese when I'm through with that. So as we continue 
I'm gonna go straight to the fire once again. All right, and we are gonna go, um, our oil should be hot. Our oil should be hot. And remember guys, as usual, everything that I have in terms of meat or vegetable, they are properly, they are properly washed. Vinegar, lime, and so on. I just do not show you that over and over because it takes some time. You know, when I'm doing the videos, and I know you guys, I, when you are aware of something, you don't need time to be wasting. You're not know, showing that same thing over and over. But I'm just reminding you guys. So don't be there thinking, okay, smoke what is not washing this one. I wash everything, all right, thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? This is my little trick. Yeah, guys, my season smelling real nice. Right now, smelling real, real nice. I'm going to add a, a little chicken seasoning to this. Remember, as I said, a lot of people you're going to see do their thing different. But at the end of the day for me, I work with the taste and the presentation. So I'm working on that. Right now, I'm going to add to this my, my, my chopped up chicken breast. As you can see, my chopped up chicken breast that goes in first. Mm -hmm. You see my beautiful thing, right? Very unique, right? All right, we talk about that later. But for now, all right, the chicken breast is in. Guys, it smells so lovely. All right, the chicken breast has already been grilled. So I'm not gonna be doing this for too long. All right, next, I'm gonna add my shrimp. And I'm gonna add my shrimp for just two minutes. And I'm combining it with my, my chopped up um, chicken, all right? Because I'm saying, these shrimp are ginormous, all right? And you know, shrimp cooks very quickly. So I'm gonna cover this for for a minute and a half, and then I stir again. And then I'm gonna give a little bit of my Alfredo sauce to it. But remember, that's not the completion of the meal. We wait in an hour or pasta to do its thing. Then we're gonna be adding some more stuff to it. So just stay tuned, don't go too far. Let's get this baby on the road, all right? Okay guys, my pasta is really, is hard, but it's the way I want it to be. So I'm just gonna, gonna pour it out in my strainer right here to get rid of that excess, all the excess water that's there. All right, leave that like so. All right, next move I'm gonna make now. I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna add a little of my Alfredo sauce to my shrimp, right? The rest is left because the pasta need more. All right, so. So good. It smells so good. All right, we're not gonna hesitate. Our pasta. We wanna get back our pasta. We're gonna get back our pasta. And we're gonna put some of this baby back inside. I think that's enough. The other rest of this pasta I can use by itself or something else. Okay, so now I'm gonna add me some butter. Right, I'm adding me some butter right here. And I'm adding the rest of my Alfredo. Else. And then we 
we just basically get everything together right now and then we're gonna add a little cheese and we incorporate everything properly all right so you see the shrimp pink and looking nice and lovely we're ready to go the grilled chicken i can taste smell the smokiness that's ready also that little all right so next time you see me i'm gonna be tasting i'll be at your favorite part so don't get, go too far just wait around to enjoy tasting with me all right okay guys we're almost at that the end so now i'm gonna add some cheese this is some monterey jack yeah, I don't want too much in it, but I'm sorry, but yeah, I got it. I'm gonna add a little of my mozzarella cheese also. Okay, beautiful. And lastly, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. All right. All right, guys, and I'll be back to eat with you guys. Okay guys, I'm finished with my shrimp and grilled chicken Alfredo, all right? As you can see, we are creamy, not overly. So here I have a piece of chicken right here. I'm gonna ensure everything is in my platter. And I'm be eating, don't watch my plate, don't be laughing at my plate. But I'm gonna be with some avocado, some plantains, sweet, nice, juicy plantains. That's what I'm working with. So I'm not gonna overdo it. I'll wait until I, I get off the camera. I get down the right way, all right? So there goes. Uh, let me get some more colors for the picture. Some red and some orange and such delight. All right, so here goes. My shrimp, my join normal shrimp, and grilled chicken alfredo. And it's served with some avocado and some sweet fried plantains. So I'm gonna dive in and let you guys know how it came out. Okay guys, I'm enjoying the view, the scenery, it's very beautiful smells very 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 delicious i'm smelling the smokiness and little steam shrimp flavor and then uh, a little light cream but everything is just a beautiful smell so amen All right. let me try the pasta by itself as i said guys it's not overly creamy it's just it's just right you taste it with the avocado that bite is nice now let me try it with um with my sweet plantain that should be a great bite also it's not about all the flavor right there you know slightly salty sweet Superb, superb. Let me see what the jerk chicken, and the jerk, the grilled chicken, what it tastes like. A little piece of the pasta and pepper. Mm -hmm, God. Guys, this is, this is nice. Now let me go and dive in on the shrimp. I just say, the tag shrimp. This is not no breaded shrimp. This is some some serious jumbo shrimp. And put a little pasta with it. It's a little hot. Mmm. Shrimp, perfectly done. 
I was a bit scared that would have been overcooked, but it's just perfectly done. The overall combination with the avocado pit is magnificent. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, share, like, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so that you'll hear every time there's a new video posted, you'll be able to see. Also, be safe as usual. Always giving praise and thank you for the support. Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. Best of luck. Peace out.